Hello guys, this is Anishwiji with another rig show and this is on my creeper rig. So, um, first of all the payment, um, payments, uh, you need to download it through Tobler Squid and once you download it you will get a, the model of it, not the textures because Minecraft doesn't allow you to um, sell textures online. So what I did is in the description there's also a media file link, download it, you will get this folder and then you need to load the textures in how to do that is you select this here and then go to attributes user data and then you have the creeper png particle and explosion png so you need to load that in so creeper png creeper png this and then we have the particles this one then we have the explosion which is this one and then go to the visual selector setup edit creeper and then select this one and we have the visual selector after so yeah so now let's get to the features so first feature are the legs they're really nice looks nice I like the way it looks the bends that look like a um, monsters legs kinda I, I don't know what but yeah uh, if I show you with like without the color it looks better um, yeah but it looks really cool and I, I haven't found a rig like this, so I made my own because I need one for my new animation. So, yeah, uh, so you can also move this over here for extra control. You can move this, and the legs stretch out a little, so it adds a little cool look to it. And do that, can we do that, and do that. And then you have this, and we have the features, facial features now. Uh, so select like that, you have the features here, or you can just use this one. Um, so let's enhance OpenGL so you can see the face. Um, the eyes, you can change the color of the eyes over here, just like this. Change the color and everything. Uh, so select this again. Eyes, different eye, mouth. Blinking, scale the eyes, blink, scale that one, blink. You can even control it manually and then you can rotate it if you want him to be angry or whatever. Uh, yeah. What is that? No. And then we have all the features here as well. So, yeah. Uh, okay, so now we have the explosion features. Oh, and by the way, this rig took me about 15 hours to make, so please give credit uh, when you use it. Um, okay, so it's like this. We have the explosion feature. So um, if we enable this, we can set a keyframe we want it to explode. So frame 50, and exactly at that frame, it'll start to blink and then explode. So, yeah. Uh, Play kind of laggy because I'm recording and I have an enhanced open gear on. So, as you can see, not many particles, but it works. Um, you can increase the amount of particles, it'll look a lot better. And as you can see, it's all messed up, but all you have to do is just click the reset button and everything's back to normal. Um, and don't worry if you it'll reset after you update it. So, um and we can increase the amount of particles but most important thing is the render so just like that if you want you don't if you don't want to see the objects you can just off that if you want to see the flashing so if i off enhance opengl you can see he doesn't flash because i don't have enhanced opengl on so if i hit high quality he will start to flash now okay and it'll look better uh so that's about it for the explosion feature, it looks really good. Uh, makes life a lot simpler. <laughs> so, and now we have the C motions. Um, so I'm just gonna make a flow and a camera, so we can, yeah, go into it. Okay, let's go to the run. So he runs like that. Looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use this motion probably my new animation and then we have the walk I uh, can increase the speed over here 
and you can even add uh, if you know about C motion you can put it to a spline and make it follow the spline and you can make it follow landscapes like mountains and stuff and the feed for that uh, adapt to it and stuff so yeah so thanks for watching that's about it um, and we have the visual selector here so yeah uh, thanks for watching and downloads in the description and bye